we are receiving number of queries from the engineers for design of concrete structures uh, specifically related to software applications in edebs state pro and rctc with reference to is 456 2000 and is 13920 2016 so some of the queries are like uh, how to perform response spectrum analysis in software and how to resolve the problem of lost signs right because when signs are lost then it is very difficult uh, to perform the foundation design when there is a push and pull p delta is required to be performed for which kind of structures so is it limited to certain kind of structures or it's required to be performed for all kinds of structures then what's the difference between p small delta and uh, p large delta analysis and uh, how the results will be impacted if we choose a specific type of uh, p delta analysis in etabs whether we should use a membrane or shell element what is the difference between rigid diaphragm and semi-rigid diaphragm in ETABs and what are the relevant applications uh, of the same in the real projects? What is the significance of uh, stability index in design of columns and how it is calculated in the software? What impact will be made in the structural analysis with and without stiffness modifiers? Whether stiffness modifier values for ultimate and serviceability conditions will be same or it may be different and how it will affect the results of the analysis. Why there are differences in the design results obtained from RCDC and EDAPS? How to check and validate the strong column and weak beam design which is performed in RCTC and EDAPS? After performing P delta analysis, is it required to consider an additional moment for column design as per IS456? What should be values of torsional modifiers in ETABs? So, firstly, whether torsional modifiers are to be considered in ETABs, and if the, uh, it is to be considered, then what is the appropriate values? What is the good practice for labeling of peer and spandrel labels in ETABs for design of shear wall? how to apply temperature forces in stat pro and edeps and what precautions are to be taken care for in both the software while applying temperature forces we are getting differences in the results in different software for similar kind of problems so which software is correct how to authenticate the software so with this, we are receiving very interesting queries uh, from engineers with a specific focus on software applications for design of RCC structures. So with this, we, we, we are glad to put forward our first module uh, titled as RCC STR001 uh, online course for design of RCC structures, wherein we have clubbed several queries which we have received from the engineers. And of course, in the next module, we'll be taking up uh, uh, a few more queries. In the course, we will discuss the required concepts and fundamentals uh, along with the software applications in STAT Pro, RCDC and ETEPS. So for the same, what we'll do, we will generate various study models for quick comparison of the results uh, from different software. And those results will be compared and the important findings will be discussed uh, in, in detail. So the same will be extremely useful for preparation of uh, in-house checklist, working instructions, uh, do's and don'ts, etc. for improving the quality assurance within the uh, organization. So the course will commence from uh, 21st June 23 uh, and it will be completed on 6th July 23. There are total 21 contactors. And the sessions will be conducted from Monday to Saturday. And the timing of uh, session is from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So in this course, uh, as it is mentioned, we will be having sessions from Monday to Saturday. So total six uh, sessions per week. So the link for more details and registration is mentioned on, on the uh, screen. And your any queries or doubts related to the course are most welcome at the email address, which is concrete at the rate sqeconsultants.com. So thank you for watching this video and looking forward to see you inside this course. Thank you.